What's going on everybody? It's your host slash DJ. It's your boy Duke out here, aka the Wolf of Crypto. And ooh, the last two days the market. Ooh. I know. I know some people out there are probably they're they're hurt right now. They're they they might be crying a little bit. They might be really pissed off. Cause you know, we did take we took a big dump. Big dump. Market I think lost about somewhere around 20 to 25 percent. Current market cap right now is at 221 billion. We were just at like 200 and about 165 billion range around there. So Bitcoin right now, the current price is about 8400. Ethereum's at 170. Uh, Ripple's at 24 cents. Uh, Litecoin's at 57 dollars, man. I mean, oh, Litecoin's on. Litecoin's on sale. I mean, everything's on sale right now. I, I, I would call this a fire sale. Black Friday came a little early. EOS is under three bucks. Stellar's at five cents. Not to excuse me. Don't forget, Stellar was just at what was that eight? since this last week i mean stella had a crazy run not too long ago but even today it's up two percent or yeah about close to three percent uh monero is now that 59 dollars cheap um cardano is cheap three cents still up about 1.4 percent today tron's up two percent or i should say 2.3 percent actually uh let's see iota ooh iota's up 2.7%. Dash is down. Dash is, Dash is under $100. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, man that's crazy. Uh, Ethereum Classic is up to about 2.5%. Wow. Neo is at 7. <coughs> <coughs> man, my bad, y'all. Neo is at $7.42. Oh, my goodness. Somebody shoot me. Uh, what else? What else? Nam, Nam's up, close to two percent. Ontology is still. Oh, Ontology is just chilling at sixty-one percent. That was at a dollar, like I think maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, let's see what else. Some other ones. Bats down. Bats down. A lot, but that's another good token just to to watch out for. Uh, let's see. Quantum's up about 3%. So, yeah, despite us, you know, bleeding out Monday and Tuesday, it was it was very red. Very, it was red like, you know, the seven seas, man. It was, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> you would have thought there was some plagues or something. I mean, it was bleeding. Bleeding so bad, you would have thought, I don't know if uh, any of you have played Call of Duty. But when you go down and, he, and you hear your character go, Medic! Man, that's what it was on Monday and Tuesday. Kid you not. I mean, it happened quickly. Like within 24 hours, just up. Oh, there you go. 20, 20 percent just gone. See ya. Now I know what some are thinking. Like, oh, like some people are panicking. Like, oh my God, my money. It's like, well, uh, you can look at it a couple ways. Me personally, I'm looking at it as well. It's Black Friday, a little fire sale. Question is. How low do we go before we go back up or do we go back down? It's a lot of speculations that we still might be going back down, which, you know, it's okay for me. I mean, because now I'm just getting more opportunities to get some of these coins at a cheaper rate. Which, you know, has effects on other things, other projects as well. So if there's some projects that are linked to some of these coins and you didn't have the necessary funds to maybe, you know, get the minimums now. While it's on sale, I mean, hey, go ahead and pick some up because I'm trying to pick me some up. I will be picking me some up because it's on sale, buddy. Or you can look at the other way as in, well, we've been here before. And when I say that, we've been lower before, like 
yeah, I think people forget, like, not too long ago, we were, remember when Bitcoin was at 33, 3,400? Everything else is doing pretty bad, just like Bitcoin was during that time. I think that was like, what, maybe, shoot, yeah. maybe a year ago? Yeah. Around like a year ago, if, if that's something, something like that. It's, that's the thing. It, it happens somewhat quick. Don't forget, we've been in the bear market since uh, beginning of 2018. Yeah, so... A lot of lot of pros also there's a lot of cons for those of you that are very attached to crypto um and your investments i mean when it comes to investing especially in crypto this is not for the the weak-minded man you cannot be attached to this because you will i would say you probably lose more money because if you attach you get your feelings it's kind of like you know having a girlfriend or boyfriend you get dumped or whatever it can be or you having to fight you're all emotional Sad, yada yada yada, have a bad breakup, whatever. Can't be emotionally attached to this stuff, man. Because if you are, then uh, it leaves a different taste in your mouth. Some people shy away because, oh my god, it's so volatile. Like 20% within 24 hours, like that's a lot. Well, yeah, it is a lot. Well, at the same time, it depends on you know, how much did you put in. Because some of these different entry points that you get in. I mean, prime example, I had uh, was watching Litecoin. Because Litecoin was, you know, $80, $90. I decided to get in right around 65 bucks. Now it's at $57. So it's like, mm, I can get some more, more, for even cheaper. And then just kind of hodl and wait. You know, patiently wait for that. Because that's what people are forgetting. If you're reacting to this, I hate to see your reaction when we actually have like that that bull run. And not not just any bull run. I'm talking about that bull run from 2017, the end of in the 2017, man. During the holidays, those of you that remember that or were lucky enough to be a part of it during that time, y'all y'all remember those runs? You go to bed, wake up, Bitcoin goes from. 11,000 to 13,000. Next thing you know, it's at 15,000. Like, and all the altcoins are doing the same thing as well. So, panicking? Eh. I would say a lot of people probably panic still. So, I should say. Then also, too, you gotta look at mm, a lot of people are still waiting for this uh, Bitcoin ETF to get approved by, uh, I think it's either backed. Somebody's supposed to be talking to the SEC. Or I forget which company it is, but some people are waiting for that. So, and then, you know, the whole impeachment with Trump, you know, elections around the corner. So, there could be some variables that might be affecting the market. All right. That's fine. But, been here before, man. Or I should say, at a worse position before. So, if it does continue to go down, uh, my my mindset is really... How much more of it can I get for sale, for cheap? Because there's always that that question of, do we see these prices again a year from now, two years from now, as more people get involved in the space? Tough to say. Because I know um, there's times where I'm on Twitter and... I'm looking at certain people's tweets, and some people were, some people are waiting for it to go back down to those prices so they can get a whole lot more. Because why? Well, they probably got in around those prices, if not lower, and they made a whole lot of money off of it. Now they're just like, all right, well, they're not really phased by this. They're not. This isn't phasing them. They're they're cheering. They're actually cheering for it in a sense, which is kind of funny because they know. Some people are weak-minded and will, as soon as they lose a lot of their money, what case it be, they got in the back time, they're like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm over for crypto. I'll never get back into this space, never back into the market, which is kind of good for me because now I can get your coins. Because you got to realize, man, this market, man, crypto, it's, we're talking about savagery here, man. Doggy dog world. It's, it's 
five of the fittest. Why? Well, again, there's only a limited supply of these things. The more you have, the more control you have. I mean, the more you're worth. I mean, because everybody's like, oh, well, everybody's whole thing is, well, it's not massively adopted yet. Yeah, that's very true. It's not. It's coming around, though. Um, but if you wait till it gets massively adopted, then those prices were going to be ridiculous, man. I mean, people are saying in the 2020, Bitcoin should be at 30, 30K. Come on, man. 30K? So you want to complain about, oh, it's at 8, 9, 7, 10, whatever it is it be. What happens when it gets to 30K? Yeah. It's, I think that complaining turns into now shame. A shame that they didn't get in while <laughs> the prices were somewhat deemed, you know, not very expensive, reasonable. Because I remember, guys, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash. I mean, some of these coins have been in the thousand range, five hundred range, six hundred. Like they've had some pretty nice highs. So, do I hope? It goes down. Mm, a part of me kind of does, just so I can get it at a cheaper price. The part of me is like, eh, do I really want to want it to go down or want to go up? I would say I'm a more of a sixty forty on it going down. That's my position on it. And then speaking back on to the whole mass adoption thing. I don't know if you guys seen that. Uh, I believe it's 7-Elevens in the Philippines or Taiwan. Some country where 7-Elevens, all 7-Elevens are selling Bitcoin. And it ain't like 7-Elevens like a small time chain either. There's a 7-Eleven on almost every corner. Now every 7-Eleven out there is selling Bitcoin. I'm, uh, I'm telling you, man. You got to realize USA is late for everything, man. We're always behind on everything. Why? Because we're a bunch of lazy guys. Americans are lazy. That's what we're known for. That's our MO. It's whatever. It is what it is. Most of our stuff's not even made, from it, made in our country. So... Pay attention to what's going on in another country, especially when it comes to crypto. Because uh, crypto is more free. It's not regulated as much as it is out here. I mean, you can't do jack daily with crypto out here. If you want to start like a crypto startup, you got to go through all type of legal things. I mean, yeah, obviously some get approved, yada, yada, yada. But it's more free where you're not having to constantly, you know, oh, I got to be a citizen of this country because I mean it's tough when you're an American citizen especially when you're one being an uh, American citizen that's going to be heavily involved in the crypto space so again don't pay attention to what's going on in, in the US I mean yeah you can but at the same time uh, the countries are on a different wave when it comes to crypto I mean some of these countries are <sighs> I mean, I would say it's part of some of their daily lives, especially in Venezuela. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard the story about Venezuela and their whole money situation, their whole financial system, what happened to their economy. You should see what Bitcoin is doing for that country. Crypto in general is doing a lot for a lot of different countries. So when I see announcements like that, I mean, yeesh. Time's coming, like... But again, remember when, uh, I think it was what, back in 98, Amazon was uh, kind of like, what, fresh, new, nobody knew what it was, nobody understood it. It's back in 98. Look at Amazon now. Amazon is taking over the world. If they get into the grocery business, oh, 
It could be cooks. But again, it's about finding the right ones and being patient. But you gotta have goals. Like, I have short, mid, and long term goals for crypto. Short and mids are normally my trading stuff. Long is like the reserves. But at the same time, I've been in the space for almost what? It'll be. Shoot, it'll be a full two years. End of this year. And it's done some things for me, buddy. I can tell you that much. And it's going to continue to do things for me. So I wouldn't panic too much about the market. I would just watch it a little bit more closely. Because again, man, I mean, within 24 hours, that's is bad. Because it was funny because one of my homies, he was like, dude, what's going on in crypto? I'm like... Hey man, it's just it's one of them days. One of them, you know. People taking out a lot of people, companies. I mean, who knows who's taking out? I mean, obviously it's probably not being traded as much as it was before. I think that's probably one of the the main things of why it dropped off so bad. I don't think a lot of people are trading as much as they were beforehand, but eh. what well, we're about to September is about to be over. October, November, December. These last three months. Hmm. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Cause a lot of people think, oh, it's gonna go back down. We're gonna have a rapid descent to about four thousand or lower. Well, if that's the case, man, we we've seen that before. So that sixty percent of me, that's like, all right, go ahead, go down, so I can get some more at a cheap price. All right, fine. Because I want to be like the other people that have so much holdings of different coins, and when we get these huge drop-offs I should not feel it as much because well I have so much of it and then I can get more of it at a cheaper price so I can just double triple my holdings gains I mean <laughs> it's exciting yeah despite I mean it sounds bad it's exciting when when it's down I mean we've been in the bearish market bear market for what two almost is it almost two four years something like that it's close to almost two or four years but you're experienced and you know how to handle the bear market and still make money within the bear market that's probably why i'm so excited like i told you earlier my trading robot has found gains despite us going down now obviously you do gotta be careful when you're trading and we do have those crazy down slopes like we do those down spikes sometimes you want to adjust it make sure you know everything's copacetic because sometimes when it bleeds it bleeds but again if you're a trader i learned this the hard way you don't gotta stop losses man Ooh. There was a time when I first got involved and I didn't have stop losses and yeesh. I was like those people that were like, oh my God, <laughs> it's, it's down 20%, 10, 15%. Like, yeah. I, yeah. But I learned though. Because, you know, you take a quick, you know, stop loss. All right, you take your quick losses. All right, fine. Get them out the way. Because then now you can just reestablish yourself to get more wins. Especially if you've seen where the market was. Because I keep track of all these prices, man. I mean, there's a lot of different coins that I watch. That I got on a list. I'm trying to get my portfolio up. I mean, because 
especially the ones that are under a dollar. Ooh, those are the ones that are probably the most enticing ones. Get them while cheap, man. Get them while cheap. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are doing your research, man. Like, that's one thing you gotta do. You gotta do your due diligence. Due diligence, excuse me. You're not doing that. And you're just coming in. It's, you'll get ate up. You'll get ate up and spit right back out. So, yeah, yeah, the market's it's down. How long? It's to be seen. Are we going to have a good Christmas? I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't really like to make pre- you know, predictions, but... Hmm. I think we'll end the year around... I think Bitcoin will end the year around like maybe like 12000 I think that's what's going to... I think that's where it could possibly head. By the end of the year, even 2019, Bitcoin could be around 12,000. But we shall see. Uh, so I thank you guys for tuning in to the cast today. Uh, again, I am available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, Breaker, Radio Public. Uh, cast box stitcher tune in so wherever you're listening to tune in hope you guys enjoy and also gonna be having some guest speakers coming to the show pretty soon so also be on the lookout for that and i think i'm also do a little segment on like coins to watch because ooh we there's there's a lot and there's some that actually give you dividends too so that's why it's like ooh, ooh, ooh i get excited because it's like ooh. not only do i can not only can i get that cheap price and then hold but i get paid to hold so or as i or as everybody says in the crypto space hodl you gotta hodl your crypto but hodl 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 I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, man, to the next episode. I'll see y'all later. Take care.